Hello everyone, this is Justin with Green Residential. So today I'm looking at a water stain on a ceiling. Now this water stain was caused by an AC drip pan overflowing. However, this could have been prevented. There is a system that you can install, or in this case it was uh, already in place in the attic above the ceiling. However, it was not installed, but now it is. So I'd like to show you how that system works and um, if you don't have a system like this I strongly recommend you think about getting one as it can prevent this this situation from happening or worse yet if this was allowed to keep going the drywall would have been compromised and the and it would have fallen down so let's go take a look in the attic and, and I'll show you what I'm talking about okay so I'm up here in the attic and this is the pan that overflowed so this line right here was clogged that white pvc pipe and this one i believe is was as well that black one which is the main condensate drain line for the ac system so the blockage has been cleared and the water has since drained away however what i'd like to point out is that there was a system here this little device is actually a float switch that if the there's like a little floating device inside here that when it when the water rises it causes it to float and when it gets high enough it turns the ac system off this little thing right here is to test it to make sure it works properly there's also one inside here inside the main drain line for the ac that i removed just so i can show you so when this little float rises to the top it turns the AC system off. Now, these two, none of these were installed, so that's why it overflowed. Now, I wanna show you the basics of how these systems are installed. So, first of all, there, this one, this is a black wire, it has actually two wires coming from it, and this one right here is a red wire, it has, again, two wires coming, uh, going from it. So. This wire right here is going to your thermostat and it was cut and this red wire right here is what provides power. It's a low voltage power. It's like 24 volts that powers the thermostat from the control board on your AC system or your furnace system. So these float switches are spliced into this power, uh, this red power wire right there. So if that switch interrupts that power, it kills the power to the, uh, to the whole system. So the whole system will turn off. So the way that was accomplished was one of the sides of one of the black wires from that one float switch was tied into here. And then the other one is tied into the other float switch. So this red wire, is from that float switch this black wire is from that float switch and then the other red wire is tied in to the red wire going to the thermostat so here's a simple diagram i drew to help explain how it's wired so this larger wire right here that is the low voltage wire bringing power to the thermostat it's been cut and this is the float switch in the AC drain pan and this is the float switch inside the drain line so power this has been connected to the, to that thermostat wire the red thermostat wire this wire here has been connected to the float switch in the drain line and then this wire right here is connected to the other part of the thermostat wire so power flows through all of this under normal circumstances. If the water rises in either one of these, it opens the switch and power is not able to continue flowing and so it shuts the system down. I hope this helps explain it a little better. So with this system, whether the clog was here or whether it is here, it will turn the AC system off and that condensation, the source of the water will stop. So what this can mean is 
if you have one of these set up and you go to turn your AC on or for some reason it doesn't come on, you should go up into your attic or whatever your, wherever your AC is and inspect the drain pan. Make sure that it's the there's a lot of times there'll be water in there and it'll be very high and this float switch will have been activated or it may have been activated inside the drain line. Well, I hope this video was helpful and informative. If you found it helpful, it'd be much appreciated if you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, we put out videos like this on a regular basis and they include simple repairs that many homeowners can do. And they also include house knowledge. Well, have a great day and bye for now.